opportunity to be here with you. And uh, I see you, honor you, and I recognize you, and I know who you really are. I promise you I will not take as long as my colleague. Uh, uh, my colleague is running around saying I'm his opponent. I see no opponent. I see no competition. I just see doing the right thing, and that's what Charlie Winburn is all about. <clears throat> I'm a little hoarse. I'm running to improve the quality of life for all the citizens of Cincinnati. I could care less about independent, Democrat, or Republican. For those who know me, I work across party lines, and I've done a very good job doing that. Uh, Mark Mallory, a former uh, mayor of this city, appointed me as the chairman of the Job Growth Committee. Uh, I was so, I'm a so-called Republican. Guess what? I was able to build a team there, a coalition of people on council. This current mayor, who's a wonderful mayor, he's a de happened to be a Democrat, pointed me to the most powerful committee on city council. I'm over a budget of $1.5 billion. I'm his budget chair, and I have the respect of all of my colleagues on council. So those who know me, when I'm elected as your next senator, I'm going to bridge the gap between 23 senators who are Republicans. And, and hopefully, Charlie Winburn will be on, in that team of 24 senators and nine Democratic senators. But I'm going to work and bring those individuals together. You know, this race comes down to who can best represent you and give you a voice at the State House. Who can bring you results? Who can deliver for you? Who can get things done? And who has a proven track record? And who can speak up for you before the 23 senators that are currently there now? Yes, there's a majority of Republicans that are in power. And my colleague keeps telling folk he's not going to work with those folk. He doesn't like Republicans. He hates Republicans. But guess what? I love Democrats and independents and everyone else. But as I go around the district, I hear three things all the time, and as I go door to door, I'll be at door to door this week, uh, what I'm hearing is jobs and our local economy. That's what I'm hearing citizens are telling me, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, or independent, or charter right. What I'm also hearing, I'm hearing that education is important to people. They're telling me that safety is important. Matter of fact, as I'm out in Wyoming, and I'm over in Lincoln Heights, people are afraid of home invasions. So. Uh, those are the most important things that are that citizens are saying. I do support the Voters' Bill of Rights. My colleague has accused me of suppressing uh, black voters' rights. I don't know one black man or one black person in this world, Mr. Cecil Thomas, that would suppress the, uh, the voting rights of another black person. So I think you've been... Uh, uh, accusing us of something that is not correct. I support the minimum wage. My colleague keeps telling everybody, I don't support minimum wage. I voted on city council. I supported the Alicia Reese's bill on council uh, through a resolution. I supported uh, minimum wage. And also, I support restoring the local government fund. Also, I support the expansion of Medicaid. I plan to be the confirming voice to keep Medicaid expansion permanently. Permanent. I also support our schools. Yes, I do support charter schools that are high-performing schools, but not at the expense of public schools. I'm a graduate from Hughes High School. So who can bring you results? Who can deliver for you? Who can get things done? I believe I'm that person. I just happen to be a Republican. But those who know me, I lived on the streets of Cincinnati. I lived in foster homes. I know my way around. I graduated from the University of Cincinnati, got my ASBS. MED, I was the least likely to graduate. I was to, told to go and work with my hands, work with my feet, because Winburn, you a good runner, but guess what? I was able to use my mind. Thank you all. I'm Charlie Winburn, and I approve this message. <laughs>